Sayer here in Dallas, Texas for Big 12 Media Days, and I'm joined by TCU head football coach Gary Patterson. And coach, thanks so much for being with us. You bring in two new offensive coordinators with Big 12 experience. How have you already seen them shaped a new offense for you this season? Well, you know, I, I talked to A&M when I got into it, and they were really frustrated their first spring when they went out of the play action and got into it. And, um, you know, I, they said that kind of during the summertime they would really grow after the 15 practices. And really, to be honest with you, just listen to our kids this summer, how much even our defensive kids of how well they're throwing the ball compared to how we end the spring. So um, I'm excited to see it myself now. Four losses last season by three points or less. It's just getting over that hump. What has been the message to your team to do that now this season? Well, there's not anything that was broke. I think right. the key is we had to grow up. We got to get smarter. And how do you make those plays to win those four or five ball games that didn't before? And so for us, how do you do that? How do you how do you fix it? And uh, you know, and, and find out that we play all together. Usually, great teams find a way to do that. Individuals don't. And so. How do you get back all on the same page? Matt Jogel, what have you seen from him? The Texas A&M transfer, obviously, quarterback. I know you haven't solidified a starter yet, but what have you seen from Jogel that you've been impressed with? Well, one of the things he brings, he's just highly intelligent. He's already been through the process of going from that kind of play-action offense right. into the offensive run, so he's ran it. You know, I think he's the competition level went up because they know that he's ran that offense with Trayvon and then the two freshmen really you have five quarterbacks at camps that can all spin it. Mm-hmm. So I'm really excited in the spring you're here and coming into fall ball two days to see how that goes. You know, because you got to find the guy. I don't even think Johnny was the guy that I think he was like second or third team even going into the last couple scrimmages. Yeah. So how do you find that guy that has the swag when the lights turn on and he makes everybody better? Because that's my definition of a great player, one that makes everybody else better. And so uh, the guy that does that for us is the guy that we're going to go with. Does it concern you at all that he followed in Johnny football step, uh, footsteps in the past year? Well, no. I, you know, I, you know, he's a guy that graduated with a business degree from A&M. I think he wants to go to law school uh, when he gets done. So you like intelligent guys that are more like coaches when they're around you. And uh, he's one of those guys. He's a, he's when you walk in the room and he's around. You know, it's you can have intelligent conversations and. It's more like talking to a coach than it is talking to a player. So uh, anytime coaches are able to do that, it makes us better. What about Devontae Fields? He returns from an injury this season. Where's his ceiling? Well, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I was really kind of surprised. I tell people that that we made him uh, defensive player of the preseason, you know, because so many good players and they all played a year ago. So uh, for him to step back in the middle of everything uh, and just go be he needs to. He's got a lot of good players around him. A lot of players coming back from a defense has been – number one in the league, you know, mm-hmm. right up there the last mm-hmm. two years. And so uh, if he can play at a higher level, then obviously it's going to make us even better. Before I let you go, I've seen the video. I know you can jam out on the guitar. Yeah. I know you got a little bit of a song in your voice. Are we working on any new songs and are you going to post another YouTube video about it? Oh, no. And I don't post any YouTubes. <laughs> uh, that one was professionally done, the last one, I yeah, think. But, but I, you know, for me, it's, uh, you know, it's, I always tell people coaches have to have second jobs. I told him someday I'd be sitting in San Francisco singing Dock of the Bay with a hat in front of me. You know, it's, you do it. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, the thing that's fun, everybody has to have a release. You know, great thing about playing music is it's like your own cooking. <laughs> when you're at home, you only have to do it well enough that you can eat it or, or can listen to it. And uh, so they asked me you know, just a minute ago, they said, well, you know, well, if you had that one song, I said, well, probably it'd be an old country song that, uh, that, was, that would actually surmise college football and coaches. Like Cowboys, I told him everything that glitters is not gold. So uh, you just go with it. Coach Patterson, thanks so much for the time. Good luck this season. Really appreciate it. Thank you.